Hi, I'm Sandy from Science World, and today I'm going to show you a chemistry experiment that you can do at home. Now I've found a bunch of chemicals in my kitchen and in my bathroom, and I want to know whether these things are acids or bases. How do I figure that out? What I need is an indicator, which sounds pretty fancy, but you can make an indicator out of something as ordinary as purple cabbage. I cut up a purple cabbage and added a bunch of hot water, and I've got what I fondly refer to as cabbage juice. As you can see, it is this beautiful purple color. That's because it contains a pigment called anthocyanin um, that makes most purple and blue plants purple or blue. Now, anthocyanin's neat because it changes color depending on whether it's in an acid or a base. So let's take lemon juice. Acid or base? some lemon juice into the graduated cylinder and I'll add a little bit of my cabbage juice and it turns pink. Lemon juice is an acid and in an acid anthocyanin is going to turn red or pink. What have I got next? I've got ammonia. Now ammonia is not something you want to play with without an adult's permission. It's pretty strong stuff. I'll put just a tiny bit into my cylinder. Now let's see what happens. If ammonia is an acid the cabbage juice will turn red. But here we've got something completely different happening. Our cabbage juice is turning green. That tells us that ammonia is a base. Actually, ammonia is a very strong base, and bases are often used in cleaning products. The next thing I have here is soap and water. That sounds like a cleaning product. Let's see whether it's an acid or a base. Some soapy water into the cylinder. And we'll add the cabbage juice. Now it looks to me like this soap isn't actually changing the color of the indicator at all, which means that it's neutral. It's neither an acid nor a base. Probably healthy if you're gonna put it on your skin. What else have I found here? Some vinegar. Now, do you think vinegar is more like lemon juice or more like ammonia? You probably have a guess. We'll put vinegar into this container. And we will add some cabbage juice indicator. So what's that most like? Just like lemon juice, vinegar is in fact an acid. The last product I found is baking soda and water. Now if you've ever mixed baking soda and vinegar together, you know that baking soda and vinegar do some exciting things. One of the reasons you might want to know whether you have an acid or a base is to predict what kind of chemical reaction you might have. So I'm going to add some cabbage juice to the baking soda and water, and we will see that that is definitely basic, sort of like the ammonia. So there we go, with simply the anthocyanin that's inside purple cabbage leaves, we are able to make an indicator that can tell the difference between acids, bases, and neutral substances. Now at Science World, we have the opportunity to use some slightly fancier indicators. In a moment, we're gonna try an experiment with bromothymol blue. At Science World, we have access to special indicators like bromothymol blue. Um, so this is an indicator that we can use to indicate an acid, actually. So I'm gonna put some in this giant container of water and we'll see what color it looks like. Now despite its name, bromothymol blue actually looks green when it's in a neutral or in a basic solution. And we wanna see what it looks like in an acid. So we have to somehow make this liquid into an acid. The easiest way I know how to do that is to make it into carbonic acid. We do that by dissolving carbon dioxide in the water. And the best way I know to do that is to blow bubbles into this giant Erlenmeyer flask. So I can blow some bubbles, dissolve some carbon dioxide, make some carbonic acid, and let's see if we can make the indicator change color to indicate that we have an acid. to see something happen. So that's my carbon dioxide that I'm producing, dissolving in the water, and changing the color of the indicator by turning the water into carbonic acid.
That's bromothymol blue, despite its name, green in a neutral solution, and yellow in an acid like this carbonic acid solution from my breath. You can find these activities and lots more at the Science World Resources website, resources.scienceworld.ca.